right, guys, how you all doing? This is MJT Reviews, bringing the best of market reviews. I hope you all keeping well. Hope you all keeping good. Um, today, I bring you something new. So, I'm going to be going down some new subs today. So, I might have said Panzerman Bunker, but uh, I've seen some of your comments. So, thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. Um, there's Dirk M U M A Files. So, welcome, mate. Thank you for your subscription. Um, Andrew Royal, thank you very much for your subscription, mate. Welcome aboard. There's Drone Man Productions. Um, seen some of your comments on there, mate. So thanks very much for that. Um, it really does make me happy to see most of your comments. There's Red Panda eight seven three two. Thank you very much. And uh, there's Morg Energy. Thank you very much for coming along. And there's Marlon Max as well. So thank you all so much for your comments. Um, there is some new kit builds coming along the way. I've got the 148th Walrus, which is here. Um, I'm, as you know, I'm finishing off the Sea King, but I'm going to be doing that later on in time because I've got to get all the diorama stuff for it. Um, I've got the C17 Globemaster, as you've seen, that I'm going to be doing. And uh, new guys that's coming along is the A400M Grizzly. So, I'm going to put this away. And we're going to be showing you. Now, guys, the giveaway started for the Airbus A400M Atlas, which is this one here. So, guys, the giveaway has started. And um, basically, what all you need to do um, in order to win this kit, guys, is just put in the comment section below um, how long you've been subscribed to my channel, what you like about my channel, and uh, what got you into modelling, it's that simple um, and you could be the proud owner of this wonderful 144 scale Airbus A400M Atlas which comes in three variants and it could be you guys so the, um, the giveaway is going to finish on the 1st of August so I'm going to gather everybody's comments in and I'm going to re reveal the winner on the 2nd of August so, and don't you worry guys, the runners up will get something because I've also got, um, I'm also getting a variant of other little kits as well, um, a few little Spitfires and things like that, so you guys will get a chance to get something, so get in chance to uh, win this guys because it could be you. Um, I'll put that back over there. So today guys, and I am building this soon because I wanted to get this built for a very long time now. <laughs> this is absolutely massive guys so this is the grizzly as you can tell this is the <laughs> it's so big it's, it's it's even too big for the actual desk um, this is the Airbus A400M grizzly I've been after this for such a long time guys it's 64 by 4 centimeters I think that's uh, the length the actual length of it so it's very very big and the wingspan is 59 centimeters so this one is massive guys absolutely massive there is some pictures however on the side of it you can actually see some of the pictures absolutely fantastic if I might be able to put some tanks in here and some other things I'm not quite sure yet I think this one might be the one for the ceiling <laughs> definitely um, so I'm gonna just pull this open now and I'm gonna let you all have a look um, so yeah guys you're greeted by a lot of plastic and I mean a lot of plastic this guys is the fuselage believe it or not absolutely massive absolutely massive it is so I'm just going to let you all have a little look so I'm going to be building this uh, kit very very soon it does have a production date on it so this was made in 2011 guys, 2011 and that's the basic uh, size of the fuselage guys so the fuselage is absolutely crazy it's absolutely massive it is and then once it's all put together that's it when it's put together guys so <laughs> You can actually see the actual size of the thing when it's done. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. Um, 
we have the fan blades there. So there's all the fan blades that are all in this massive kit. Flip it around, we've got the engines there, um, the cowlings and stuff, and all the wheels. Um, I don't really want to take it out of all of its packaging at the moment, but if you want me to, I will. Um, well, yeah, why not? Um, so it's sprue galore, guys, sprue galore. Uh, and the wings are huge as well. <laughs> so I'm looking so forward to uh, building this kit guys so we'll get this out the way for now put it on the floor so so as you all know guys you're greeted by Ravel's um, basic standard uh, booklet with the picture on um, this is not like the new stuff this is the old stuff This because um, um, we, we all know the new stuff all has like colour indentation on it so it shows you all different types of colours and stuff we'll get to the decals in a minute um, so guys just have a little brief little run over of what we have to do so it comes in three variants just like the C17 did so you can have it wheels down um, you can have the back part down uh, the loading ramp and you can have the opening door feature so you can have no, sorry, you can have it as a diorama if you want to. You can just have it the wheels down, or you can have it the wheels up version. Um, so, yes, it's got interior as well. So, you know, guys, with this being so big like it is, you know, with this being massive, I could potentially put some uh, LED lights in this. Wouldn't you? Th I, th I think that would be great. Putting some LED lights in there, be absolutely awesome. You know, just to show it off. Um, I think that would be great. Um, it's got a lot of stuff to it. Um, there's the all the um, the parts for it and everything. Um, the interior. Uh, it's got retractable um, landing gear. I can see there. Yep, you've got the massive wings that you put on it. What I know about the A400M guys is I've actually seen it land um, at the local airport where I live, uh, Durham Tees Valley. I've seen it fly past a couple of times too. Um, I know about the crash that happened in uh, Seville, I think it was, in Spain. Um, such a terrible disaster that was. Um, you know, just I was really, really upset about seeing that. Like same as I was when I seen the Concorde as well. And it was such a shame, you know. Tragic, absolutely tragic. But uh, you know, guys, for a model, it's absolutely outstanding. Um, you've got all your engine parts, all individual parts to it. And then you've got these wing tips here. You put underneath the wings. I what you call them now, but um, and then uh, we have all these other little parts as well. So we've got the landing gear, there, no. and then we've got the loading ramp. And then we've got all the other parts here as well. So we have the uh, refueling pod that sticks out on the nose. So you can refuel it in the air. And then it has the decal parts there where you put all the decals on, which is really, really good. Because you need that. Um, definitely need that. And here are some of the other ones. So there we go. There's Sevilla, Spain. Um, and I don't think I want to do that one, to be honest. Um, no. Nah. We've got a camo edition one there, which looks interesting, but I don't think I want to do a camo. I think I'm going to go with the um, I think the only one I can go with is the um, either the camo version or the Seville one. Um, I really would like to do it in uh, RAF, but 
If I can get some RAF decals for it, then that would be uh, great. Cause I don't think this, I don't think this comes in RAF decals. I'll have a look, but I don't think it does. Um, you know, we've got your French ones here. Um, we've got your Airbus military. Yep. No, it doesn't come with the RAF stuff, which is a shame. But uh, I might be able to look in the aftermarket or see if some of my friends can help me out on it. Um, if uh, any of you guys might have some RAF decals, I'd be uh, really, really happy if you have some. Because <laughs> uh, I'd love to see it in RAF type, definitely. So as you know, this is the massive fuselage. And now I'm going to hurry this up. Uh, the video is going to take too long. <laughs> and right here, guys, we've got the massive wings. Just to show you the size of the wings, guys. There's the wing. That is absolutely crazy. Crazy, crazy, isn't it? So, absolutely massive, that is. Um, definitely proud of it, like. Definitely proud of it. Uh, and these are another part of the wings. Got some very nice detailing on them. There is some flash, but... Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. There's the back part of the tail fin. Um, so yeah, guys, it's just ridiculously massive. It's absolutely ridiculous. But uh, I don't mind that, guys. I really don't because, uh, I, as you all know, I like to work with big, bigger kits. So I don't really... Uh, even though I've done quite a lot of uh, little kits over the time, but... Uh, I just prefer the bigger stuff. Um, a lot more easier to work with. So I'm just going to put this back away now because, uh, as you all know, guys, I'm getting ready to go back to my mother's. So, I've not seen my old mother today. I haven't been down for a while, so I'm going to pay my mama a little visit. Um. Right here. Let's get to this other part. So, guys, this is the inner part. So, I'm going to this bag. So, we have the loading ramp. It's very, very nice. As you can see, it's got all these indentation marks on, if you see. Very nice. Very nice loading ramp. Uh, we have the lovely inside bone structure, which is very, very nice. Put some nice detail into it, also very nice. And then we have, uh, looks like some stairs, which are here. Because we have the, I don't know which way, if I turn this round, you might be able to. Can you see there, look, you've got the, the railings going up to the stairs. Um... Not bad guys, not bad at all. And then we have the cockpit area there, which does have some uh, detailing inside the cockpit area, which is good to see. So, uh, as you can see guys, this, <laughs> this kit's absolutely massive. Um, I can't wait to get it done guys, I really can't. Um, Actually, getting excited now. Just get it all there uh, built, get it all done. And these are just all the other bits and pieces. So you've got your landing gear. You have the clear cockpit glass there. Another part of the loading ramp area. Then you've got these these parts here. I don't know if you can see them. Um, all these little parts inside there for your wings. This one, guys, you can see. So we've got the engine cowlings there. We've got the seats. We've got the uh, wheels. We've got my engine cowlings there. We've got other engine bits. And then right at the back, we've got the massive fan blades. We've got the propellers for air fan blades. So, yeah, guys, that's the uh, A400M Grizzly. And I cannot wait 
to get it done. Um, cannot wait to get it done, guys. It's absolutely crazy, as you can see. And uh, I will be doing this uh, pretty soon, guys. Um, this this will be coming um, after I've done the C17, possibly. Because I said I was doing the C17 shortly. Which is... Uh, this one's on, um, this one's the Atlas. Uh, the C17 is this one, and I'm going to be doing this pretty soon. So, actually, this one's going to be done when I probably get back home. Um, but anyway, guys, get voting for the Atlas. Um, it could be you that wins it. So, I wish in every single one of you all the best of luck because uh, you know the runners up will get something as well. And. Um, I'm just going to close this video by saying, guys, that uh, you know, in my recent video, I did the um, the B52, guys. Um, now, the B52 took me a long, long time to do, um, eight months, to be precise. And I did have a lot of difficulty, um, especially with the bombs, because um, I had money issues and I couldn't get the right bombs. I couldn't afford them. Um, I had to, uh, you know, conjure up what, um, bombs that I had from different uh, other kits, which I know is wrong to do, but uh, it's all I had, guys. And you know, I think I did uh, an amazing job on that B52. Um, it took three courts to get it all done. It took me a very, very, very long time eight months to get it done. Um, but I had a hater, um, and I know everybody has haters on the channel. Uh, but this guy came on my channel and basically said I did it wrong. Um, said that I was offending people in the United States Air Force. I was insulting them. And I was insulting him. And, you know, guys, I don't insult anybody. And I certainly wouldn't insult any person that's a part of what they're doing to help us in the country, whether it's from the war or whether it's people that actually are part of the military service. You know, I would never disrespect anybody like that. Um, that B-52 took me a very, very long time, and I'm so proud of it, you know. But for somebody, people to come on my channel, and I know everybody's entitled to their own opinions. Guys, anybody's entitled to their own opinion. I'm not, I'm not saying anything bad by that. Anybody's allowed to have their own opinion. But when you're coming on my channel and you're saying all these nasty things about my channel and you, you're saying all these nasty things about me and putting my work down and putting my skills down, you will be removed. No question about it. And at the end of the day, I'm not going to be putting up with it. Okay? I made this channel and I try and get these videos out to each and every one of you on an entertainment purpose. Okay? And... I know that everybody has haters and I know people haters come along and stuff like that but you know at the end of the day I'm not going to be putting up with it that B-52 took me a very very long time and I think it's fantastic and I'm so proud of what I've done and I'm going to put this message out now if you do not like my channel if you do not like what I make or you do not like what I create you do not like what I say unfollow me don't watch my videos and don't be a subscriber. It's that simple, guys. Okay? Because you're just wasting your time. Because I've got a lot of people that do like my work. And a lot of people that do follow me and support me. And I'm so thankful towards them. But if you all you're going to do is be a hater, then just get off my channel. It's as simple as that. And that's all I'm going to say, guys. So, you know, I, uh, um, I uh, removed that comment that that guy said to me. I'm pretty uh, upset about it. But I'm not going to let it down, my dear. I know I've got all you guys that follow me and I'm so thankful towards you guys. Honestly, really, really am. So I look forward to this video because this A400M is massive. It's coming soon, guys. And I cannot wait. And I know you all can't too. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thanks very much. Get your votes in on this. Um, I mean, not your votes. Get your comments down for winning this Atlas. This 144 scale one that I showed you. And it could be you that wins, guys. So... I'm looking forward to seeing all your comments and, you know, just put down in the comments, like what I said, you know, how long you've been subscribed to my channel, what you like about my channel and uh, what got you into modelling and it could be you that wins, guys. So let me know in the link below in your comments and 
I'll get back to you guys. So thanks very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye for now, guys. Thank you very much.